Rivet guns are air hammers and the models used for our RV kit are rated as 2x or 3x which specifies the relative strength and speed of the repeated blows they deliver. A 3x gun delivers harder blows more slowly than the 2x's shorter, faster blows. This choice is of personal preference and both models are popular. The trigger is designed to tease the airflow, which gives you precise control over the strength and duration of the impacts you deliver to each rivet. The rivet gun uses a removable rivet set, which consists of a shaft that inserts into the gun on one end and a polished area that meets the head of the rivet at the other end. There are cupped sets for universal head rivets and flush sets for flush rivets. Each of the cup sets is designed for a particular rivet size. The trigger on the gun allows you to gradually increase the force and repetition of the impact blows that are transferred through the rivet set to the head of the rivet. A spring on the end of the gun holds the rivet set in place, allowing you to change the set to another size as needed. To absorb the impact, a bucking bar is held tightly against the stem or shop end of the rivet. This bar is simply a piece of steel weighing a few pounds with a polished face. They come in many sizes and shapes. To facilitate getting into tight areas you will encounter when building your kit. The rivet set is chosen based on the type of rivet used, either a flush or universal head. The gun is squarely engaged with the rivet head, the bucking bar firmly held in place and square against the shop end. The trigger is squeezed for a few moments. The shop head is checked for adequate deformation with the rivet gauge. The amount of time pulling the trigger depends on the air pressure you are using and strength of the gun, 2x, 3x. This is where practice pays off. While these demonstrations show how a rivet is set, what is not obvious is that Oftentimes, the rivet is situated in such a location you cannot reach the bucking bar and the rivet gun at the same time. Your arms will not be long enough. This requires a second person to help you hold the bucking bar while you operate the gun. This coordinated effort between two people to rivet takes practice.